Hello, Eva here with Eva LaVey Arts, and today I'm excited to be taking part in a blog hop with some fellow artists, and we are talking about the Art Sparks Creative Project deck that was put together by artist Karen Friedland. And this is how it comes to you. It's in this really cute little bag. And I, I just received mine in the mail and I'm going to create a project with it for you. So it's got some really cute packaging inspiring you to express yourself creatively with projects that spark your success. So it's an inspiration card deck and let's just open it up and see what we have. I'm really excited that Karen contacted me and wanted me to be a part of this journey with her. So there's a little 10% uh, off her paintings and prints if you go to her website, karenfriedland.com. And let's see, let me get the. Where's my. Open this up. Lots of close ups of her beautiful art on these cards, which is just beautiful. Uh, as you know, I love bright colors and texture, and she is also a lover of that, and you can see that in her art. It's just gorgeous. I love it. She's up from uh, Brooklyn, New York, and I encourage you to go check out her website and grab yourself some of these cards. So, on one side you have her art, and on the other side you have a month's worth of inspiration with various projects. So they, they are just different projects. I, this is the first time I'm looking at them. Um, here's this one that says, make a picture that is predominantly warm colors, reds, yellows, oranges, with small accents of a cool color, blue, green, or purple. And it also, uh, takes you further by asking you a question. What sensation does that evoke for you? So, yeah, maybe I should, uh, just since I read that one to you, maybe we should do this one for my project. So I'm going to uh, gather up some supplies and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I changed my mind. I looked through some of the cards, and I was like, you know, I just, uh, I want to do a different one. <laughs> so, I found this one, and it says, Paint foil black. Acrylic paint will work best. While the paint is wet, gently turn foil over onto your page. Hold a pencil or other writing tool at the very top and draw with it on the foil. Make sure not to rest your hand or press on the foil. Carefully lift the foil and add color. Were the black marks what you expected? All right, well, this is something I've never tried before, so it sounded fun to me and I wanted to try it. So I brought out my Dilutions paints and we're just gonna see how this works. Oh, look, they've kind of dried up quite a bit. Let me add some water. Okay, found just some cheap black craft smart and we're gonna try this. Much better. Get it all over. Whoa, I really did get it all over. <laughs> oh my gosh, why me? <laughs> Baby wipes to the rescue. And I'm just gonna paint the foil black.
don't want it too wet because I don't want it to just uh, get on the page without me pressing on it. Okay, we'll see if this works. I might, I wonder if I should let it dry for a minute. Yeah, I'm just gonna set, let that sit for just a minute and then I will start drawing. I blew on it, you know, it, it wasn't very much. So I probably will get a lot more black on the page than I'm wanting, but I'm just going to use this stylus and we'll see how this comes out. I'm just going to be free. I'm not going to be really trying to draw anything specific. Just get some lines and color and see how this goes. A lot of black. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well, that looks cool. But uh, I had a feeling that was happening, so I didn't do as much drawing probably as I would have. If it would have been a little more dry, you can still kind of see the lines. But uh, yeah. Let's just go with it, huh? Let's add some color. Okay, it's the dilutions paint. Adding some, what is this? Cherry pie. So in the interest of saving time, I have put this in super speed mode and you'll just see me adding some color here with the Dilutions paints. That was Calypso Teal and then I will add some Lemon Zest. And finger painting is so fun. Great way to get some color down and get your hands dirty. So now I'm adding some more black and taking some of that color off in the process and I'm just going to crumple up that foil and then add a little bit more black so I can add some more texture on there it's all about the layers and then I'll attempt to draw some more circles which did come through a little bit but anyway just giving that a quick dry and then I will go on to add some more blue. This is, I believe, London blue. And then give that another dry. And adding more layers. This time I'm going to take some white paint and just add some white back into the composition there. Just stamping it on random places and then I'll give that a dry. And now I have a white pencil I'm just going to get the idea of how big my letters are going to be. I'm going to spell out the word Art Sparks here by using some black paint to color in the background. And this is just very rough, loose letters, just fun, having some fun, wanting to get some of that background to come through on the letters. And yeah. And of course, you know, I love hearts, so I'm also loving these Art Sparks cards, and I hope you enjoyed this process. So be sure to check out the description below for links to the other artists that are in this blog hop. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.